The top lever on most side-by-side -side shotguns is generally to the right of center when they're new. But as the gun is used and the bolt and the bite wear together, the top lever moves to the center and eventually to the left of center. Now, assuming that the barrels are still on face, it's a fairly simple process to tighten up the bite and move the top lever back to the right. So, Jack, I know there's two terms that are important to us. There's tightening uh, a shotgun and rejoining a shotgun. There's a lot of confusion there. I wonder if you can kind of help us understand what those two terms are and when a shotgun is a candidate for tightening and when it might be a candidate for rejoining. Okay. Thank you. Now, this, in this case, your gun, your gun rattles slightly. Uh, when you say it rattles can, slightly. Well, you can shake it like you can feel it. Feel it it's loose. Feel so it you can loose. feel a little bit of play in yeah, the barrels. A sideways play. Mm -hmm. Now then, the, the way to determine if the, if the gun, if the action flats, I you're touching on the action flats back, uh, back here and just here, those action flats there and there, a touching here and here, then, uh, and it's on the face, it could be on the face, but you know, uh, or it may be off the face, but on, if, if it's touching the face, it's touching on the bottom here, it won't be long before it needs a rejoin, but mm -hmm. you should be able to get it away with a, with a t tighten. And so what I do is I, I, I smoke the, the flats at the bottom here and also smoke, smoke the face. And you're going to find out here if indeed it's touching the flats of the receiver yes, well, and if it's touching the standing bridge. That's great. Okay. Now, I'll go and get quite a smoke on this. And just to clarify, we really don't want it touching. When we talk about off the flats, it should be off the flats a little bit. Well, we need a, we need a bit of clearance at the back end of the flats. Mm -hmm. So put the gun together after, sp it, uh, after smoking it, and then slam it close a couple okay, of times. You're trying to transfer that carbon. That's correct. Okay. Now, now let's, take a, let's take a real good look at it up there here. You go. And we can see here where it's touching. It's, it's touching, touching on the face the, quite nicely, actually. Mm -hmm. You're comfortable now, with that? I'm happy with that. Now, okay, so we can see where the, the soot has come off. But you see, it's not touching on the bottom there. There's a slip. So uh, it's not, the, the bottom of the barrels are not touching at all. Not, not touching and the, that's good. Um, there's one, maybe a little bit there, but it's not, nothing, nothing significant. Mm -hmm. And they're not there either. Now then, so you could get away with a tighten on this gun. And what, what I mean by tighten is tighten the bites the back bite here. So you're you know, going to tighten this area. Can we point to it there, Jack? Yes, I'm going to point to it. You're going to tighten this bite. We call That's it the right. back bite, the one That's nearest right. to, the, to the breech. I'm going okay. to draw up metal so to, to tighten that bite. No, draw, draw metal upwards so that the underbolt bears harder on this surface where mm -hmm. it fits than it does now, and that should hold it tight. Mm -hmm. But, I mean, I would in some cases, it, I would, in some cases, give, tighten the gun, give it a squeeze. In when other you words, say give would, it a squeeze. Well, I'd squeeze the action in. I'd squeeze it in across the, mm -hmm. the area of the front lump. Mm -hmm. But as I say, I'm not in a position to do this here because we, we don't, have a, don't have a vice which is as, as power enough to squeeze it in. You'd we need a stronger vice. You need, need a big vice. You need something like a blacksmith's vice, mm -hmm. you But anyway, any case, this will suffice to tighten it up. I just wiped the old the smoke off there. Now, so what I can do with this one is I can knock the bite up and make that underbolt tighter in the, in, in the, into its slot. Right. Now you're going to upset That's that right. rear bite ever so little. Uh, well, it's quite a bit actually because okay. I've, I've got to start low down now. It's no good trying to do it with a small hammer. Start with a big hammer and start. You say there's no reason to start with a small hammer. No, that's okay. Right. Start well down, well down mm -hmm. that surface there.
Now, and what we've done is we've moved metal up this way in just right. a few thousands. That's right. Now, let's move the flat nut. You can use a smaller hammer for that if you like. Just flatten it out slightly. There you go. Now, I've having done that, I've knocked a bird up on the side. Mm -hmm. So. The only what you need to do is knock the bird down on the sides and then clean it, otherwise you'll never get it back together. I think that'll do it. I think that'll get it back together. Now we yeah. wouldn't typically do the front one. No, we in don't. This case. We can't, we, you can't. You don't bother with the front one. Okay. Because uh, the, the back one is the one that does all the work, not okay. the front one. The front one's only a guide. Okay. Now, if you put it together now, they, you'll find that now there's a see the, uh -huh. that last little bit of yeah. The top lever now is what we call is, right of center. That's right, and it, well, it's coming over the center, but you see, you've got to pull it the last right. Mm -hmm. The last bit. Mm -hmm. So the crossbow. Now I, I could tighten that. I can tighten that even more. It'll, it'll stand it. So you're going to tighten it just a little bit a more. A bit more, yes. Yeah. So you've got a little bit more, a little bit more bite. And that's your two pound hammers, what you're using. That's right. Ah, that's better. <laughs> ah, that's better. <laughs> See? Mm -hmm. See, that's not going right yet. Right. You can just, uh, that's really, really poorly done. Now, as I say, and we know it was on the face, so, and you see, by doing that, it does. Taking any rattle out of it. Yes. A little bit of movement you had before is gone. Yeah, there's no rattle and at all. That's now. right, it's gone mm -hmm. now. Find a smooth file and, and, and carefully dress that back edge where you've been. And you see, there's, there's not much there to take off to clean it up, as you can see. See, I've just about got it out already, and it's right. stayed uh -huh. uh, flat as it was before. This is a little bit finer file than the other? That's right. Okay. I need a bit of emery cloth just to finish it off. And we'll get that here in just a second. Mm -hmm. Right. That's You're going cross grain. I'm going way. Up, uh, up and down on it. You're going to finish it. Kind that's of this right. Way, I'm going yes. to finish it with the, with the emery cloth going, going that way too because mm -hmm. it would look look awful if I right. went crosswise on it. It's what they call in the trade of putting a stroke on it. Wrap the wrap the emery cloth around the around the file and. Three twenty or four hundred. Good. Okay. Oh, so we dress down both sides. That's right. Because dress we, down the back. Try to keep the lines we, going the same direction that, that they normally great. would on the opening close in the gun. That's Four hundred grit emery cloth. Yeah. And you get something that looks pretty good. That's right. You know that nobody will ever know it's been hammered up or knocked up, whatever. Now then. And this is the typical, acceptable methodology acceptable, for, for doing this work in the British trade and has been for forever. As long as I ever often remember. And you see. Have you ever done this before? No. No. <laughs> I mean, it's ridiculous, you know, to charge a guy for a route. It is your guy for a, a read. People thought that it was a, 
a major job. That's pretty clear. That's and normally, I, what I do, I used to give that a wipe with a little drop of little drop of oil, you mm -hmm. know. And then here we go. Back, back together it goes. Clump. There we go. It's got a good, got a good bite. The cr cr crossbow doesn't go right in. It will do with a bit of use. It'll shoot, sure. shoot in. I mean, put a few shots to it and. Here we go. It's nice. Closes like a safe door now, mm -hmm. doesn't it? You just have to lip her up with that sticking out there until mm -hmm. it's shot in a bit. I'm out of, you know, 25 shots and that'll... that'll you say 25 shots? Probably. Just a short bit. That's just the burr on it. Yeah. If